Hello darlings, this is Christina at Makeup FYI. I hope you are having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm going to be doing a coral summer spring look, or should I say spring and summer look. This typically is the look that I get the most compliments on when I'm at work or out and about, so I thought this would be something perfect to share. You know that I love to use what I already have, so we're going to dabble back into that Pat McGrath Utopian Dream. We are also going to dabble into another Pat McGrath that's called mm -mm -mm, Venus in Fleurs Luxe Quad Voristic Vixen. So the cool thing about mixing and matching with Pat is it's just such a creamy, smooth uh, formula and you can create so many beautiful looks. So I'm definitely going to be showing you more looks. I reach for these quite a bit. They are my favorites. So without further ado, let's get going. So this is the Elta MD, my NARS Biscuit, and then the Beige Water Fresh Tint. I am looking to try another foundation. I love this one. Don't get me wrong, but for fuller coverage, I would be curious to see another one. So I'm kind of testing it out and we'll go and see about that in the next coming month. So let's get started. This is the Sonia G Blender Pro. And we're going to dabble into this, this right here, colors it's called. That's right, all the colors are on the box. I am so terrible, I'm gonna have to have that box out. But we're gonna dabble into that very bright coral color. And we're just gonna sweep it across the eyelid and we're kind of, kind of swirling it from the crease, kind of going, giving a little tapering outward. And this is very based on your own eye shape. So my eye shape, I have hooded eyes, which many of us do, especially as we get older, they get more hooded. So it's really nice to create some dimension of space. You don't want to put too much um, outside of your crease but it is nice to have it just be just slightly above. It creates, it creates the illusion of having more space. Mm -hmm. So do you see? So I'm gonna do the same to the other. So I need to clean this off with my favorite color switch from Sephora. Just easy peasy and see, clean. So now we're gonna go into that deep plummy shade very pigmented so I like to just kind of sweep it off a little and we're just gonna pack it into the crease area I love Pat McGrath because not only are they super pigmented but they blend so easily they she is probably my favorite eyeshadow and I can't believe I sleep. I slept on this for so long because seriously, it is worth its weight in gold in the sense that if you're a makeup lover and you love to create different fun looks, which I do, like of course, there are times that I like to be more demure, but it's really hard for me. I like color and I like to express myself in artistry on my face. So this is how I do it. and. Pat McGrath makes it so easy because I'm not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel like I can create these awesome, amazing looks for every day so seamlessly. So yeah, we've added some dimension to the eyes and then we're just going to blend, 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 blend. Now the fun part. So now we have pads. Um, this is the Voyeuristic Vixen. And I haven't gotten to as many of the other colors as I want, but I will be getting into them. But the one I love, 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 love so much is the Rose Fire Nectar. Mm, 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 mm. Let me show you. This is oops, too much, too much. Look at that. Is that not the most? 
fabulous shimmer shine you ever did see. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna use a little of that MAC Fix Plus. This one's the gold light, but you can use any MAC, uh, any uh, MAC Plus, any Fix Plus, use me. So, we're going to just pack this on the lid. So do you see? It's so brilliant. So we're packing that on the lid. And we're gonna do it to the other side. But this is literally like three eyeshadows. So it really is an easy look to create. And since we added that little bit of um of the fire rose nectar, I'm gonna go over that crease just a little bit to deepen it those darker colors really enhance the lighter colors so that's why we have to do this mm -hmm. and just go over really quick it's a little bit perfect now about pat mcgrath if you want those shimmers to really show up nicely use your finger okay so that's what i'm doing i'm going to pack it on one more time but with my finger yep give it that intensity that i I love so much. There we go. Clean it up. Perfect. Now we're gonna line our waterline. This just makes everything look just really soft. I kind of like the combination of the coral with the kind of plummy eyeliner. So I'm gonna use 516. And this is one of my favorite kind of neutral-ish liners. So as you can see, mm -hmm, I'm going to Excellent. Okay, so now you can see that kind of just gives you like this pop of color, but it's a nice liner that's plum. So it's gonna bring out any type of like green or um, even brown eyes. So yeah, I really like this. Excellent. So now we're gonna use my, of course, my ride or die combination, which is my Chanel Le base and le volume. So we'll start with that. I'm just gonna pack this on really quick. And you know how I typically like to do this. I like to pack on my mascara and then do a few coats, let it dry, come back to it. That's how I do it. My favorite blender brush is the Sonia G Blender Pro. So we're gonna start with that deeper color in the Utopian Dream, <laughs> that like plummy color. And we're going to smudge that underneath and go mostly under the lid. We're gonna leave this little open space there a little bit. That's where I'll pack on a little more of the, the Fire Rose Nectar. And then I love this ColourPop um, eyeliner. They have really good gel. The gel liners are really nice. And they're reasonable, they're like $5, so I like these. I can attest to these little color pops. Color pop is a hit or miss. Some things are fabulous and some things are like, mm, and you never know what it's gonna be. So I had tons of color pop palettes way back in my color journey with um, eyeshadow. That was a great place to start. And some of them I kept because I still love them, but not all the formulas are great. And I love the Super Shock shadows, but they don't last very long. So that's disappointing. Uh, but like I say, I like the, the gel liners. So this one is in at sunset. So let's put this on the under eye waterline. So you're just gonna bring that coral look forward. Yeah, it gives it just a little brightness to the eyes. And then we will add that little under eye 
not under eye. We're gonna do the little bit of glitter, the rose nectar on the inner corner. And in that little piece we left out where we didn't put the under eye, um, not the under eye, but we didn't put the uh, bottom shadow. We're gonna just put a little bit of this little Bobbi Brown. It's just an ultra fine eyeliner brush. I sprayed it with the Fix Plus one more time, just going in the corners, kind of brightening up that area. You see how it kind of brightens up when you have. And the nice thing is there's not tons of fallout with these liners, so that's why I was able to like do all my makeup before without worrying. I mean, it's pretty great, right? Like we used the darker color, we used the shimmer and there is basically no fallout and that is pretty hard to come by and i can say that pat is great at that with the exception of those larger um palettes like the holiday palette which is beautiful those colors are beautiful and i will do some looks with them but do not do your foundation first because boy oh boy there's fallout galore with those like no joke but the colors are gorgeous so I play with it and I will just deal with it but there's tons of fallout. I do my blush just my sunset blush by Chanel. I will do the you know my beloved my, my spring fleur de petits uh, blush and highlighter duo so we're gonna use that. I love this one you know how much I love it and you see I'm almost out, so I did purchase something else from Chanel, which is coming, and I'm hoping it'll be a good um, dupe, since this is not available anymore. It was a mess around, man. They come out with their editions, their limited editions, and once you, they're gone, they're gone. You cannot find them, okay? So, I'm gonna start with this. The peach. It's like a peach. Oh my God, but I love this color so much, so pretty. Pretty. Put it here, here. I like to get all the places. Give your face some dimension. Yes. And then, oh, and this is the Sonia G Cheek Pro. Then we have the Wayne Goss, and this does not have a number, so I'm not sure what the brush is. See how it adds that nice sheen. And so now I think it's time to add our second, maybe third or fourth layer of mascara. I'm just gonna hit those tips. Let's see. It really makes a difference. Adding a little bit, a little bit more of mascara, which is great because you can totally pump up the volume without them looking all clumpy. Okay, so now we're going to do a lip and I want to do kind of a light lip because with heavier eyes, you typically want to do a lighter look and sometimes I'll do my, um, I will do the Urban Decay Cruel and then I'll put my Chanel Caramel, Intense Caramel over top because it's a long-lasting, non-smudging lipstick, and that is beautiful. But I want to do something a little different. I love this color. It's called Flushed, and it's no longer available, unfortunately. It's 132. But this is the Rose, um, the Rouge Coco Flash. And it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty um, lipstick. It's kind of like just a wash of color but with a lot of shine, kind of gloss, almost like a gloss, but with more pigment. So it's very soft. And we can't forget to finish off this look with a little mm, glistening spray. So then I use my IS Copper Firming Mist. And it just melts everything in so nicely. It just makes everything glow. 
and it's actually really healthy skincare. All right, darlings. So this is my go-to summer spring look, coral spring look, although I use it throughout the year because I love these colors. So, I mean, you can even do this as like a fall, like pumpkin-ish color if you want to do like a pumpkin spice. Like I say, you can do these any time of year. People love them. However, since it's close to spring, it's more a spring summer look. Anyways, love you guys. And I hope that you're having the most fabulous beginning of your week. Blessings.